Welcome to the tutorial video series for Concrete 5. In this series, I'll show you how to use uh, Concrete 5 to edit and manage your website. Uh, now, in this uh, video series, I'm going to be using cmsguide.info. This is a live website that I built using Concrete 5. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm using Firefox, uh, which Concrete 5 works quite well with. Uh, also, it works in Chrome as well, uh, to that I understand. Uh, now, there's uh, uh, two main sides to Concrete 5. There's a front-end editor, and uh, there's also the dashboard. Now, to sign in, most websites uh, built with Concrete 5 have a um, sign-in link at the bottom of the page, uh, and this takes you to the login page. Um, and this is done with mo most, most themes have this. Uh, in some cases, they don't. Uh, sometimes you might see a login box or some other way to log in, depending on you know what type of website uh, you built. Uh, another way you can go to the login page is go to you go to your domain forward slash login, and that is if you have a clean URL enabled, which I'll tell you more about later. Um, now, if you don't have that enabled, uh, you would want to go to your domain forward slash index dot php forward slash login uh, another way you could do it would be to go to slash uh, dashboard which actually redirects you to the login page um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and log in and uh, this is the default login page that you'll see and now on some websites, uh, some themes uh, have support for the login page where it will make your login page actually match your website. Uh, in, this, in this one I have that turned off so uh, it's not doing that just for sake of this demo. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And now, uh, when you log in, you'll see that this bar up here at the at the top has shown up, and uh, that is always visible. So as you scroll down the page, it's always visible up here. And this is this is part of the front end editing interface. So what what's cool about this is that you can go to any page on your website. So let's say we want to go to the about page uh, because we would like to edit that. Um, as you can see, I don't have much content on here, and I'd like to maybe add something to it. Uh, so what you can do, how Concrete 5 works is uh, you can go into edit, what's called edit mode, simply by either clicking on this button, uh, or if you hover over it, it gives you more options here with the, in this drop down panel, which uh, I'll go into more detail in future videos on how to, on what these things actually do. Uh, but let's say we want to just do a real basic edit. So we want to edit this page and then you, know, you can see these boxes, these areas become highlighted um, and so the, this, when you click on one section, let's say we want to edit this area here we simply click on it and it opens this little uh, options box here. You can edit it, you can copy it to a clipboard again I'll tell you more and uh, I'll go into more detail in future videos on how these work. Um, right now I'm just giving you a, a quick guide uh, you know, guide on how this, on what these things do, but you can, you can delete these, you can move, uh, say we want to move this around, you can move it to a different area on the page by simply by drag and drop, so now it's over here in this column, uh, and then, you know, you can go into edit mode, and this is your, this is going to be your most common editing mode. Now when you, after you move something, by the way, you have to save the page, by the way, uh, so you, which when, once you make a change, you, uh, I recommend you know publishing it right away just to make sure that it's you know changed and saved. Uh, so you hit that button that you saw publish to edit. And another thing that uh, Concrete Five includes, uh, there's something called versions. So every time you publish a page, um, it it records it as a version so you can actually revert back to previous versions so that way you don't have to ever have to lose worry about losing any 
any uh, old changes that you made uh, over time. So, uh, so there's there's a variety of features too that I'm going to be going over again in later future videos here uh, as I go into more detail in this series. Um, to and uh, so let's say we want to go to the dashboard. You click on that, and this is what the dashboard uh, main the main page looks like for the dashboard. Uh, by default it has uh, just up to this area um, and as you can see there's other areas down here from this quiz maker and on there's other areas here that this includes those are those are add-ons and uh, Concrete 5 has a very extensive marketplace that's highly supported that allows you to add a wide variety of types of ads add-ons and functionality that you need some of some of them are paid some are free um, so if you want to, you know, if you want to do that, uh, one thing you would be able to do is on this dashboard to go to Extend Concrete Five Install, and uh, sometimes you know there's add-ons that you can, you know, these are the currently installed add-ons, and then there's other ones too that are waiting installation if there are any. Right now there aren't, um, and then you can connect your website to Concrete5.org, which allows you to plug in your website uh, to your account there. And uh, then you can, you know, purchase or manage your add-ons through through that uh, resource as well. Um, there's also a file manager in here. Uh, when you uh, go to this, this allows you to manage any any files uh, that are allowed to be uploaded to your site. Uh, in most cases, it's most types of images, such as you know, PNG. Uh, JPEG, uh, GIF, uh, it can be it can be any type of file, such as you know PDFs, uh, Word documents, uh, Excel spreadsheets, uh, you know pretty much uh, you, you name it. Mo most uh, file types are supported. If they're not, uh, there is a way to actually uh, add support for that in the dashboard. So there's there's lots of control in here. Um, again, I'll go into more details on how all this stuff works in future videos, you know, like I'll have a video on uh, how to use uh, the file manager, uh, one on using, you know, these reports, uh, you know, managing your users, and, you know, what all these features, you know, do. I'll go into more detail later. Uh, so, uh, and we can go back to our website here, and uh, we can browse around again here if we want to jump to a page, let's say our services page. Again, you can edit, go back into edit mode. Let's say we want to add a new section. Uh, in this case, we simply click on the area you know, to add to left column or add to whatever area. Now, there's another type of area, too, uh, called a site-wide. Uh, this is also known as a global area. So anything that has the word site-wide in front of you know the name of the area, uh, that means anytime you add content to that area it will show up automatically on every page on the website that has this this particular area on it so that way you know basically what that means is you only have to edit this content one time um, you know so let's say we want to edit this you know uh, this type of add-on we, we would make it want to make our changes here or save it and then what will happen is it will it will see if that changes across the entire website so we only have to do it one time which makes it a lot more efficient so let's say we want to add a new block to an area we can select our from our options box here add block and by default there's a handful of blocks that are included uh, something called an auto nav this is one you're going to use most commonly um, so uh, our content box uh, is basically uh, what you see is what you get editor which works a lot like uh, a word document uh, processor does so you know, it allows you to enter in your own content uh, you can enter links in here uh, you can add files add images again I'll go into more detail in a later v uh, video on how to do that stuff um, and, uh, and there's all all these other video uh, blocks too that are on here that a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory uh, when you as far as their options go um, 
and then if you have any add-ons installed, uh, it goes up to it includes up to this point uh, YouTube video. Anything beyond that are usually added through add-ons and blocks, or even through a theme. So uh, again, there's a lot you can do here. There's a lot of flexibility. Um, uh, other things you can do is you can add something called a layout, where you can add uh, let's say maybe we want to add a three-column area with just one row. Um, you know, maybe we want to add, let's say, 20 pixels in between each area. And then this creates uh, this creates a new area. And what's, uh, again, you can customize this by a drag and drop. You can readjust the widths of these areas. And then this creates new areas that you can, you know, add sections to. So it's kind of like you're, you're building your own layout area within the page. Uh, and then you can actually remove these too if you want. If you don't you decide you don't want to keep those. Um, and then uh, again, anytime you change your site, uh, you can either publish it or another thing you can do is dis discard your edits. So let's say the changes we just did uh, with that layout, uh, maybe I don't want to actually save that. In which case, actually I don't. So I'm going to dis discard that and the changes were not made so uh, so again there's a lot you can do um, there, you know this intelligent search allows you to search around uh, the concrete uh, interface uh, let's say files or something and what happens here is this shows you know your results so if you need to quickly find some feature on your on your concrete in installation uh, you can do it that way too through your instant you know, your instant intelligent search up here, which is a very handy tool. Uh, to this other things you can do, this thing here, uh, this uh, shows your most recently visited pages. Again, very handy to have. Um, these are uh, your uh, links to your site map, uh, reports, uh, um, other things like that that you're going to probably most commonly use. And then this, again, links uh, to your main dashboard page. Uh, and so I'm going to go into more detail uh, on what these things do in our next video, so be sure to check those out.